under cardiovascular, still secondary hypertension, we have a condition called coarctation of aorta. As soon as you hear coarctation of aorta, close your eyes, think of what, please? Think about this patient, listen to what I'm saying. There's webbing of the neck. There might be two cusps of the aortic valve. Interesting. If it's a female, well, XO, right? And if it's the ovaries, may result in something called dysgerminoma called streak ovaries. Who's my patient? Turner syndrome. Mm. In this patient, you also notice that the blood pressure in the carotids might be higher than the blood pressure in the extremities. By extremities, I mean down by the feet. Think about the dorsalis pedis. The blood pressure in your upper extremity might be higher than the blood pressure in your lower extremity. How did that occur in Turner? Remember, Turner is a genetic problem with XO being the chromosome. Next, what happened? I told you that there was webbing of the neck. What's that called? It's called lymph angioma, isn't it? It's the fact that the lymph is becoming dilated. And you might actually be able to see this in vitro with the ultrasound in which the back of the neck, you see it being filled with fluid, right? That's your webbing of the neck, quote unquote. Make sure that you know the full understanding of webbing. Number two, what else did I say? I said that the aortic valve, which normally has how many cusps? It has three cusps normally. But is it possible that a patient might have congenital bicuspid aortic valve? Sure they can. Who's your patient? Turner. And then what about the blood pressure? The differential, coarctation. What's that going to do? I want you to go back to physio and I want you to think about a pipe and a tube. And you're going to add a resistor right in the middle. You see that right there? You added a resistor in the middle. When you added a resistor in the middle, what then happened to the pressure proximally? It increased. What happened to the pressure distally? It decreased. What did you do? You added a resistor in a series. Where am I? The aorta. And you coarcted. What's coarcted mean? It means constriction. Hmm. So what happens to the blood pressure in the upper extremity? Voila! You've increased it. See how simple it is? And what about the blood pressure in the uh, lower extremity? It's decreased. What do you think happens to perfusion of a kidney? A decrease. What kind of questions might they ask you on physio? They might ask you about decreased perfusion of the kidney and coarctation. True or false? True. So therefore, we, what are you going to release? Renin. Good. And you go through the same concept. Secondary hypertension, coarctation. Let's continue. You just completed your first video of the world's best medical exam preparation. Lecturio brings the knowledge of worldwide leading medical experts and teaching award winners to your PC, tablet, or smartphone. Prepare yourself and check your progress with thousands of quiz questions customized to US MLE standards. And the very best, you can get in touch with our medical experts personally. Visit lecturio.com now and continue with the most inspiring medical education around the globe, anytime, anywhere.